Do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins as long as you don't insist. This is a hadith that's one of my personal favorite a hadith because it involves one of my favorite characters other than the Prophet ﷺ, a man by the name of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. May Allah have mer- uh, be pleased with him, the great companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Abu Dhar's character was one of extreme righteousness. The Prophet ﷺ says that this earth has not carried a man more truthful than Abu Dhar. That, that this is the most truthful man, that this is a man full of faith on the inside. Now what can happen to someone that's full of faith and a person that is, is, is a Zahid and a Sadiq is that they can start to look at those that don't practice like them and not see the same things in them and not see that uh, they are deserving of the same salvation that they have. So Abu Dhar says that the Prophet wasallam said, he said that there is no believer who says La ilaha illallah, who affirms the oneness of God, and then dies, except that he enters into paradise. And he said that when the Prophet said that, I said, وَإِن زَنَا وَسَرَقْ Even if he committed adultery and stole, the Prophet said, وَإِن زَنَا وَسَرَقْ Even if he committed adultery and stole. He said, I said it to him again, وَإِن زَنَا وَسَرَقْ Even if he committed adultery and stole, the Prophet says, even if he committed adultery and stole. He said, I said it a third time, even if he committed adultery and stole, and the Prophet ﷺ said, he said it to me a third time, in zana wa sarak, even if he committed adultery and stole. So he said, I said it to him a fourth time. Usually these narrations stop at three. He said, I said a fourth time, in zana wa sarak, even if he committed adultery and stole. He said, even if he committed adultery and stole. And the Prophet ﷺ said in the fourth one, he said, and even in, at the defiance of Abu Dhar, even if Abu Dhar hates it, <laughs> even if Abu Dhar doesn't want that to happen, Allah will enter that person into Jannah. So Abu Dhar said, I walked away and I was saying, and even if Abu Dhar hates it, even if Abu Dhar doesn't want it to happen, it's going to happen. And uh, Abu Abdullah, he comments in, in Al Bukhari after the hadith and the narration, he says, This is a person who before he dies repents to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bears witness to the oneness of Allah. Allah will forgive all of his sins. He does not have to be pegged down. And if you think about it with your faith, Shaytan wants to disconnect you from your Iman. That's, that's his goal. Before you commit a sin, he tells you don't worry about it. After you commit a sin, he tells you you have no chance at ever connecting back with your Creator. So after a person has committed a major sin, they should know that they should come back to Allah and Allah will not disappoint them. Turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not let shaitan convince you that you're doomed because of one time that you committed that major sin. Turn back and have a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will accept your faith with the Nahi ta'ala. May Allah accept your iman and my iman. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.